But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there. I see them. You po. Superintendent Asari, do you know Superintendent JB? Do you know him at all? Yes, honorable chair. Mm. Did you ever tell um, the chief, uh, Mr. Bugri Nabu, that uh, JB should be the one who will lead him to? The Jubilee House. Mr. Chair, that is a palpable lie. That's a palpable lie. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. JB, did you have any conversation with the chief, who is also called Mr. Bugri Nabu, that you were going to take him to the Jubilee House and he was waiting for you? No, Mr. Chairman. So, if there are phone records, have you ever called uh, uh, Mr. Buginabu? Have you ever called him? No, Mr. Chairman. At all? At all. And you don't know him? You've not met him before? No, I've not met him, and I don't know him. I've not met him before. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Okay. Then, in the circumstances, um, I, I will leave the rest of the members to ask questions. But that's all I want to say for now. So, I think we should deal with uh, Superintendent uh, JB. And then, when we finish, we will leave him to go. Because he doesn't feature on the tape. And he's also denying that there was a, a prior arrangement in which Mr. Sari had arranged that he would take Mr. Bugru Nabu to um, the Jubilee House. So members of the committee have questions for um, Superintendent JB. Just ask your questions. Let me begin from my brother on my right. Do you have any questions for the gentleman? Anybody can start, you know, this is not... Oh. Thank you very much, Honorable Chairman. Um, as the Chairman put it before we started, this is a fact-finding committee. We've met our prime witness before, Chief Burunago. And I think that it was premise on that that Superintendent Imalo Jebi was invited. Superintendent JB, have you ever not called, have you ever spoken to Chief Bugrunabu on phone? No, Mr. Chairman. Have you ever had an appointment with Chief, Chief Bugrunabu at Afrikiko to go to Jubilee House? No, Mr. Chairman. If phone records are produced, will you be surprised? I will be surprised. Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Okay. Who is next? Okay, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think uh, from the responses, uh, Chief Naba. I gave to some of the questions posed to him when he appeared before this committee. Clearly, it was Commander Asari yes. who mentioned to him that he will be traveling and that he will want Mr. JB to accompany him to the president. Precisely. And so, obviously, there was no direct communication between Mr. JB and then uh, Chief Nabu, but it was Commander Asari from what I've read so far. We wouldn't know. They should tell us. We wouldn't know. You see, because what is being said is that there was the necessity f 
for uh, Chief Bugri Nabu to go to Jubilee House. And um, uh, um, Superintendent Asari is making arrangement for Superintendent uh, JB to meet him at Afrikiko, so they go. But if he doesn't know anything about this arrangement, he should say so. Uh -huh. Then my question goes to uh, Superintendent JB. Yes. Okay. Uh, have you ever discussed with Commander Asari yes. that uh, you accompany uh, Chief Nabu to the to Mr. President for some discussions? No, Mr. Chairman. Mr. JB, you're finished. No, it's not. Oh, oh. Have you ever spoke on phone to Mr. Commander Asari, to Commander Asari? I mean, uh, Subsidian JB, this is a question to you. Have yes. you spoken to Commander Asari on phone on yes. this particular matter? When my attention was drawn that my name had been mentioned, so I called him that this is what I've heard. Then he also told me he is unaware of whatever is being told. And he said, palpable lie. He doesn't know the source. He doesn't know where my name came up in this matter. So on that Sunday, on one Sunday, I think uh, Chief Nabu called you personally and then arranged to meet you at Afrikiko. Was that also not done? No, Mr. Chairman. But I remember on the 2nd of July, last month, just last month, July, or 9th of July, I had lost my senior nephew. So I was in a program in Kofoidia for that funeral. The place was noisy even though it was so full, you know, issue. And when I picked my phone, I realized there had been a series of missed calls. I had made several calls. So I started calling back when I stepped out. Nobody picked the missed calls that I called. Those. And then later, I saw another call coming again. Among those I have seen, I have missed, and I'll call back and nobody paid. And then I remember telling the person, I'm not in Accra. I'm not in office. So when I come to Accra, we'll talk. I'll call you back. That's all. That was either second. I don't have the, the brochure or the program for the funeral. I would have been very specific of the exact date, weekend either 2nd of July or 9th of July, last month. Now, when Chief Nabu appeared, he mentioned that on that Sunday, he called you and you indicated that you were in Eastern Region, as you have rightly said, Koforudia, and that uh, when you come, you see him. Is that not what happened? I don't know him. I don't have his number, and I've not met him before. So how would I know that it was this person I was speaking to? As I, I said, you want to ask a senior person. Listen, listen. You have found a lot of missed calls on your phone, and now there's a voice call reflecting some of the missed calls. So who is on the line? Who did you want to ask? You, you don't know somebody by you are just talking on phone. Is that what you want to tell the committee? No, Mr. Chairman. Who I, are you talking to that you didn't know? I tried calling back the missed calls that I had received. Yes. And none of them paid. But when I went back to the program, whilst it was going on, another call came, reflecting one of the previous calls that I had missed. 
And because I was still in the program, I remember telling the person that I'm not around. So when I'm, I'm in a program, when I'm done, I'll call you back. And I never call the numbers back again. So when you said, I'm not around, what, what, what was the meaning? I'm not around. Somebody was calling you. You didn't know exactly where the call was coming from. And you said, I'm not around. What does that mean? Meaning I was in a program and I thought I, even the noise, the background noise could not have even made me to find out exactly what the person was calling me for. But the idea that the person was calling from outside in the eastern region, because when you said, I'm not around. I didn't have any idea that the person was, that individual was calling from outside eastern region. And after the program, you didn't bother to call that number which had been calling severally to ascertain what the reason was. As a police officer, probably there was a danger somewhere and the person wanted to draw your attention to it. So having called severally, I thought that after the program, you could have called to find out what was happening. I didn't call back, Mr. Chairman, because as I said, there were other calls. Those I called back and they did not also call back. I didn't continue calling them. But this one, when he, he called back, and because I was within that funeral program, and I couldn't have spoken at length or to find out, I just responded that I'm in a program, I remember. When I'm done, I'll call back. But I did not call back again. Now, let me find out from you. <coughs> I'm sorry. The missed calls you had on your phone, did they include calls from Superintendent Asari? No. No Superintendent Asari's number. Do you know? Yes, I do, Mr. Chairman. And you are insisting that you've not had any previous conversation with Superintendent Asari? The relation to um, Chief Bugri Nabu and Afrikiko, then the two of you to Jubilee House. There's never been any conversation like that. No, Mr. Chairman. There had never been any side conversation. Very good. Superintendent Jebi, have you ever spoken? to someone on Asari's phone who claims to be Burunabo? No, Mr. Chairman. Okay, let me go to the ex-senior police officer. Do you have any questions for your, your, your colleague? Is there anything you want to ask? Mr. Chairman. For now, uh, my questions have been asked by members already. Thank you. We go to my colleague at the bar. Any questions for Superintendent JB? Superintendent JB, I'd like to know um, where you operate from. Where do you work from? Mr. Chairman, I'm at the CID headquarters. I'm the di current director of Cyber Crime and Child Protection Digital Forensic Laboratory. And you know Superintendent Asari very well. Mr. Chairman, he is my direct mate, and we are friends, and we have also stayed in one barracks briefly. And then currently where I stay, he was once the commander, district commander there, so I usually used to call him 
uh, landlord. So the answer is yes. Do you know Superintendent Asari very well? Say yes. Then you 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 explain back in for him. So the answer is yes. I know him, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. You said it all. I'm saying that the answer is yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. He said Superintendent Asari was a district police commander. Is he still the district police commander? When no. does he operate from at the moment? Currently, he's also at the CRD's National Police Headquarters at the Protocols uh, Unit. The IGP is your boss. Well, I mean, that is obvious, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do you have reasons why the IGP must not be at post as the IGP Thank you Mr. Chairman I don't have any reason and he's my boss and I know I've also been working hard to achieve the, the vision of the police administration to support him. Now let's talk about the alleged invitation extended to you to accompany Buri Nabu to see the president. I want to be clear. Do you stand by your earlier statement that the numbers that were recorded on your phone on the day of the federal you attended in Koforidua, those missed calls were not marked as in, uh, you know, in terms of having the names appearing against the numbers is, is, is that your argument that is true mr chairman follow-up question yeah go ahead thank you mr chairman mr chairman when chief nabu appeared he made an emphatic statement before this committee that he is a chief <coughs> And he doesn't lie. Now, he indicated that even on that Sunday, you had agreed to go to the president with him. But later said he should go and then you meet him. Are you saying that that is not true? That is not true, Mr. Chairman. A question from our lady here then I'll, I'll come to you sir but, so mr jb i think you've answered most of my questions but i am a bit surprised so tell us why do you think someone will just drag your name into this whereas you have no idea about any meetings that had gone on to see the president on the igp's case thank you mr chairman i'm equally surprised that is why i called Mr. Sari, and then he also explained to me that nothing of such nature has happened, and it is all false and lies. All right, so, Honorable Boama, I had the floor. Thank, thank you, Chairman. Um, Superintendent Jebi, um, you've confirmed to this committee that you placed a call to Superintendent Asari, on your return from Kufuridia. No, Mr. Chairman, I did not say that. But you just told the committee that you you called Mr. Asari on this issue. 
Yes, I said I called Mr. Sari when I heard that my name has been mentioned that I am part of the people who were arranging to meet Mr. President, the President. So you called Mr. Asari? That is true, Mr. Chairman. On why did you call Mr. Asari? When I heard that my name had been mentioned by a witness before this committee, that I was part of the people or I was the person who has agreed to meet that witness at Afikiko to accompany him to the president. That is when I called him and then he told me that this has never happened and he doesn't know why my name is being brought and that they have even been invited early on before NIB, National Investigation Bureau, and my name was never mentioned. I, was, I have not been invited. So that is why I was so surprised that all of a sudden I'm, I'm hearing that this is what has happened, which is not true. So you only heard your name being mentioned by a witness who appeared before this committee? That is true, Mr. Chairman. Did you give any evidence before the BNI, NIB? No, Mr. Chairman. And as I said, I have not been invited by anybody, by the BNI, NIB, sorry. How long was your conversation with Mr. Asari? Mr. Chairman, I cannot tell exactly how long, the time stamp, but I told him this is what I've heard. Why is my name being mentioned? Prior to this sitting or hearing, uh, did you have the opportunity of listening to the tape? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Which aspect intrigued you? Mr. Chairman, can you give me an explanation more? Which aspects of the tape intrigued you? Mm, or excited you or, I mean, got you concerned or worried? Worried or alarmed or yeah. My name that was mentioned. Which you want to drink some water? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chama, there's there's a little pressure. No, there shouldn't be. I I think that the question should be clarified. Listen he, carefully. He's yes. We are just questioning on the basis of his testimony. His name was never mentioned on the tape. Is that clear to you? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Your name only came up through the testimony of Chief Abugri Nabu, who said that there's a proud arrangement that you had with uh, Superintendent Asari, that you were the one going to take Abugri Nabu to Jubilee House. Simple. Now, so far, so good. Say, so, open okay, online portal, what Ghana? Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I uh, append them to you. Whenever I say my pen dream TV, pen dream TV, dear, I say them, you po.